Welcome to the installation video of the Curt 17500 True Track Weight Distribution Kit. These are the tools necessary for the install. Start by lining up the tow vehicle and trailer on level pavement in a straight position. Use the trailer tongue jack and a level to raise or lower the tongue until the trailer is level. Measure and record the distance from the pavement to the top of the coupler. Next, measure and record the distance of the rear and front bumper of the tow vehicle to the level ground. For vehicles with air springs, air shocks, or automatic leveling systems, check the vehicle's owner's manual for special instruction. Unless otherwise indicated, air springs and air shocks should be deflated to their minimum recommended pressure before assembling and adjusting the weight distribution hitch. Now, it's time to install the hitch head and ball. Insert the adjustable shank bar into the hitch receiver tube on the tow vehicle. Depending on the coupler height of your trailer, the shank can be installed in the upright or the inverted position as necessary. Once in place, position the head assembly onto the shank and position it so the top of the ball is roughly one to two inches above the previously recorded coupler height. This is to account for how much the tow vehicle will sag with the full weight of the trailer. For initial setup, place the head tilt spacer into the position shown. This is one of five possible head tilt settings. This may be adjusted later to increase the tilt position, allowing more tension to be applied to the arms. Tighten the 3 quarter inch bolts just enough to hold the spacer to the hitch head. These bolts will be tightened after the correct tilt setting has been determined. Now it's time to install the spring bars. Secure the two spring bars with the supplied linch pins. The spring bars of a weight distribution hitch act a lot like the handles of a wheelbarrow. Once engaged, they lift up on the back of the vehicle, distributing the tongue weight of the trailer to the front of the tow vehicle. Now, it's time to couple the trailer, raise the coupler enough for the ball to pass under, and back the vehicle into position. Lower the coupler onto the ball, allowing the jack to support some of the tongue weight, and close the coupler latch. After coupling, use the jack to raise the front of the trailer and back of the tow vehicle approximately three inches. This will allow easier installation of the spring bars onto the support brackets. Now we will install the spring bar support brackets. Depending on your propane tank location, the tank mounting bracket location may need to be adjusted. Mark the position of the trailer support brackets by marking a line on the trailer A-frame four inches in from the end of the spring bar. Place a carriage bolt through the top hole on all three channel brackets. The wide channel bracket should be installed over the narrow channel bracket. Spin the nylock nut loosely onto the bolt, then hang the assembly over the trailer A-frame on the center line. Slide the L support in between the two captive channel brackets. Set the bracket height closest to the spring bar position set with the trailer jack earlier. Install the second carriage bolt in the first hole directly below the trailer A-frame. With the L bracket installed, use a torque wrench to tighten both nylock nuts to 25 foot-pounds. Repeat the support bracket installation process on the opposite side of the trailer A-frame. To raise the spring bar, pull the bar out from the A-frame and hook the lift bar into the L bracket. Rotate the handle up. Secure the spring bar by installing the retainer clip and cotter pin. Once both spring bars are secured, lower the jack to apply the load to the hitch. The vehicle should settle evenly. Remeasure the front and rear bumper reference points. If the front has settled much more than the rear, lower the L brackets to reduce the load on the spring bars. The spring bars should be nearly horizontal when the correct height is achieved. If your tow vehicle cannot be leveled with the initial head tilt setting, increase the tilt position. This will allow more tension to be applied to the arms. This table shows the change in spring bar height for each position setting. After the correct tilt position has been determined and the tow vehicle is sitting level, 
Torque the three quarter inch bolts to 200 foot pounds. Make sure to cross and attach your safety chains and hook up the trailer wiring every time you tow. It is also important to double check the following components. The pin and clip securing the shank to the receiver, the head to the shank fasteners, the trailer ball nut, the coupler latch, the spring bar support brackets, and lastly, the braking system including the breakaway switch. The final step before towing is to apply grease to the inner and outer ball bearings and grease zerk prior to each use to ensure quiet and trouble-free operation. Congratulations on setting up your true track weight distribution hitch. You're now ready to tow. When you're ready to uncouple, you must make sure to lower the spring bars correctly. Before lowering the spring bars, remove the weight from the bars by using the trailer jack to lift the trailer and vehicle. With tension removed from the spring bars, carefully remove the cotter pin and clip. Now use the lift bar as a lever to pry the spring bar off of the L bracket. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to always tow safely. Now you can bring it. Kurt, the first name in towing products.